Hey guys, and welcome to this video. Today I decided to do a cartoon snowflake unicorn speed drawing for this one only because I am doing a unicorn challenge and whenever I feel like it. Um, challenge is not a specific how to finish it in a certain day, it's just whenever. But I do have a prompt list and I can link the prompt list or something and some of my Instagram you just need to search for it uh, I can post it again so uh, anyways I created a prompt list for it so if you want to follow it uh, go to my Instagram um, I was, I'm not gonna post it in this video only because I've only posted it once before which is another unicorn speed drawing I've done on this channel so uh, yeah, so anyway, this prompt was Snowflake, and I just did a little snowflake, or well, a big snowflake with a unicorn in the middle of it, uh, kind of like a frame, tack like a frame, or border type thing, and then I did a cloud. For some reason, I have to do clouds and unicorns, uh, do the clouds in my style, uh, cute. Um, so, I just have to do that so work it cloud into the drawing so anyways I'm inking now so you see my inking process uh, usually I do that off camera but I find it that if I do it on camera you guys can see the entire process so oh by the way if you hear any cleaners in the background the cleaner will be coming at 10 30 so it's 10 06 now so uh, anyways, I'm just inking the cloud, and, uh, yeah, inking takes a while. Takes a while, about 30 minutes or an hour to do, depending how detailed the drawing is. This one only took around 20 minutes, because it's on small paper, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of rushing it. Don't rush your art. Um, I was trying to get in the video, uh, time frame, so... Uh, yeah, some type of drawing on loose paper takes me over an hour, so, uh, this one only take, took me 30 minutes to do. Uh, I did the construction sketching, um, before camera, before I recorded, so, I went in with the pencil and the ink, uh, so, yeah. I really don't know how much to say, I'm talking a lot. Oh, these are the Arte's the real brush pens. Uh, you can get them on Amazon or on their website, so that I'm using and I was coloring the, snuff, the unicorn glue to match the snowflake, so anyway, uh, yeah, I really don't know what to say here, uh, except, uh, oh, Marcus Village, <laughs> overflow, uh, here I was more inking, or no wait, I was coloring, uh, the feet or the hooves of the unicorn, so, uh, yeah, more coloring, and here's the pro tip, uh, if you use Arteza Real Brush Pen and Watercolor Pencils, oh my gosh, if you use those two together, it's like shadow magic, <laughs> so, it's like, I, I've been experimenting on unicorns and with my materials, so I'll tell you some of that, uh, so, finding what supplies work together and watercolor pencils and our chains and brush pens are amazing. So, I'm going to have to experiment with more watercolor stuff. So, uh, there is that. Uh, I'll try to find something, I think, but I'm not sure. Oh, oh, I, I know what I'm going to find. It was that fine liner. This fine liner. I don't know what it is, but you can find it at Hobby Lobby, I think, and you basically, there's a brush tip and a bullet nib, so it's very helpful to fill in the snowflake, as you see here. So, thankfully, the video is coming to a close. Uh, I'm gonna do, oh, if you want shoutouts in the video, I could do a little shoutout or something, I'm not gonna do shoutouts in this video, but... For those of you who are subscribing to my channel, I can shout out to you, so thank you for subscribing, uh, it means the world to me, and for your support and everything, so, uh, thank you, uh, a lot, so, I really do appreciate it, I appreciate your kind feedback, um, this is what I mean by watercolor pencils and our taste, uh, real brush pens, 
So this video coming near an end. So thank you for commenting, subscribing. And guys, I will see you next time. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And yeah. Bye guys.